let's make a basic Lego brick. So we jump to SolidWorks. And we choose to make a brand new part. You could click on this icon or File New. We have three different cho choices here and we go for part. Double click to have a shortcut to make a brand new one. We choose a plane to work on and I go for top plane. Choose feature extruded boss base. I choose rectangle and say OK to that one. Now I'll position this a little bit more accurate by choosing the middle point or midpoint. And I do that with a right click and choose select midpoint. Then I shift click the zero zero point in space. Shift click. So I pick two entities that I would like to have on the same horizontal height. So I choose horizontal. Okay. Then I do the same thing in another direction. So I right click this line, choose midpoint. And now the midpoint is picked. I go for a shift click in zero, zero, zero point. This time I would like it to be vertically on the same position. Dimensioning, I go for 16 millimeters. I say OK to that. And now we could choose 16 millimeter in this direction as well, if you would like to have a square shaped brick. But I go for shift clicking two lines. And then I force them to be equal. Okay. We accept this one and choose a height. We have dimensions for this, so if you jump to the web page, you could go down and click dimensions. And here we can see that we need it to be 9.6 millimeter high. Okay, so we go back to SolidWorks and we'll let it be 9.6. Okay, so I change from 10 to 9.6. Enter. Accept. You could accept here. You could also accept in the corner. This is a very important corner, by the way, because as long as you have something here in the corner, you are doing your inside a function. So if I accept here, we can see that nothing is in the corner anymore. So now we have made a part, uh, which is just a solid block here. And what we could do now is that we could do the knobs or we could make it into a shell to thin it out. So we could try to do a shell here. The shell command is in the middle almost. I choose the side that I would like to open up. So here in the blue, blue means it's waiting to click on a face that should be removed. So I click on this face here and then we need to set a thickness here. And the thickness is for a Lego brick. It seems to be, what is it? 1.2. Yep, 1.2. So we go for 1.2 millimeter. Okay. So we accept that. We have a shell. Let's do some knobs here. So we would like to extrude. And I would like to do it on top of this surface. I choose that one. And look at the corner. Now we're doing something here. So in the corner, we could see that right now we're doing a sketch on this surface. And if you're doing a sketch, choose the space bar. And here you can choose to work in the normal direction, flat, which often makes it a lot easier. So in this case, I will do a few help lines. So if I do a center line, you can see that we get a possibility here to have it snapping. So I click there and slide in the other direction. 
now I have made a center line. Okay, if I choose the midpoint of this one. Point, and then I choose the zero 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 point with a shift click. I could force these two be to be exactly on top of each other. Coincident. That means that this line will always be symmetrical. So if I move this, it will move the other side as well. Okay. So I do that to get position of the knobs here in the right spot. Uh, we could do the same thing again. So just make a line there, choose midpoint, which is there, and then shift click zero point. So I make a constraint, a relationship by choosing shift click in this case also coincident okay uh, I think the knobs should be 16 millimeter apart so if I put in a dimension here ah it has to be eight okay 16 is of course the total size of the brick if I unclick the Smart Dimension button, I could force that one and that one with a shift click to be equal. If you think this is really complicated, you could just go by putting dimensions everywhere. It works great, but it will be a lot of dimensions. Okay, let's do some knobs. So if I just hover above that one and go up a little bit, you can see that it finds the center point there automatically. I do it three more times. Go down there. And then the last one. Oops, sorry. Escape. Then I need to choose circle again. Mover. escape and now we will do a shift click on all four of them shift click keep holding shift click shift click and tell them to be equal okay that means that we only need to have one dimension we accept this we close the dialog and I choose a dimension for this one and I think it was 4.8 if I remember correctly okay Let's go out from the sketch. So in the corner I accept. And now we need to choose the height here. Let's see how for the size here. Uh, it's 1.8 for the height. So we could go blind 1.8 millimeter straight up. Okay. Accept that one. And we're almost done. Okay. One final thing here uh, is, uh, of course, to make fillets everywhere. Fillets is nice. So in SolidWorks, it's super easy to choose fillets. So if I just choose fillet here, I could remove that face there from the blue window. Okay. And just choose the edges here. So each edge here will give me a fillet. So let's say I choose 0 0.3. Then we can just click on these edges. Okay. And accept. So if we now look on the inside here, we can see that the thickness will be a lot more where we have the knobs there. So now it's time to learn 
a cool thing in SOLIDWORKS and that is that we could change when things is happening so here for instance the shell here it would be really nice if we could have made the shell as the final step here so what we could do here is that we could possibly grab this shell and try to move it down and let's see what happens if I drop it now okay so now the shell is also going in there in into the knobs we could also have fillets on, on these edges here we could also if you like we could go in and, and just add these edges to the same fillet feature that we had earlier but in this case I just choose to make new fillets okay except that's it we have made the first part let's save it file save as and by the way you should save a lot don't wait more than 10 minutes between each save you never know what will happen save as 